about I say three weeks ago, I started working at Dollar General in Laura, Mississippi on Susan B. Ruffin. I started um working on this job <clears throat> as a key holder when I first started. Um when I first went into the job, they had so much going on, y'all, for us corporate problems and management. It was a wreck. So I didn't get proper training. Good morning, Key. Please share this live and tell people. So I didn't get any proper training from the beginning. But me being me, I can learn anything that you're willing to teach me, for one. So I did take this position. I did take the job because I needed the job. I don't supposed to be working because of other health conditions that I have. But at this point in time, I had no choice but to go try to find me a job. So that's what I did. Okay. As I'm working on this job, like I said, the management is horrible. I won't speak of the names or anything yet until I finish the whole story. Okay. On July the 12th, I won't forget the date nor the time because, like I said, y'all may be asleep, but I haven't slept since then. Excuse me, I may start shaking, like I said, or crying because I do have anxiety problems and I do get upset. But I'm going to tell my story today. On July the 12th, while I was at work, I came off a break and the store was packed full of people. Um, when I came off break, one of the managers was outside the store and asked to speak to me. So I went outside and she was discussing something with me that was going on with her and management, her problems with management. Okay. While I was listening to her and her problems with management, the other manager, assistant manager or key holder, whichever one position that she hold, she was inside the store running the cash register. Remind you, I had just came off a break. Okay. She came outside of the store. And she had like three set of keys in her hand. When she had the keys in her hand, it was a man at the ice machine waiting on ice. Okay. She instructed me. She turned around and she asked me, hey, Renee, are you on break? I said, yes, ma'am. I'm off break. She said, okay, fine. You need to go inside and get on the register. I said, okay, yes, ma'am. No problem. I will. Okay, as I went inside to get on the register to help the other customers, I went back and I asked her what was her numbers because I wasn't able to log in on the register. As I proceeded to go back and ask her what was her numbers, I seen that she was irritated and frustrated and upset. She threw the keys in my hand and told me, here, don't worry about it. You handle this man. You go handle the ice. I'll go back in the store and get back on the register. Okay. She threw the set of keys in my hand. Remind you, this is like three different set of keys, y'all. Okay. I proceeded to the ice machine. I went to the ice machine. And I'm trying the locks or whatever to unlock the machine. And I'm like, I don't know which key it is to unlock the machine. You know what I'm saying? I'm new. So I don't know which key it is. The customer that was waiting on the ice started getting aggravated. Okay. He was already upset. Me not knowing that him and the manager that was inside had already had confrontation. They had already had a problem. They had already got into it or whatever had already went, in the, went on in the store. So the man was already pissed off. Mind you, I had no problem with this. I didn't know. I didn't have nothing to do with this. I just came off a break. So when she threw the keys in my hand, I went to the ice machine and I proceeded to try to unlock the ice machine. I couldn't unlock the ice machine because, like I said, it was a thousand keys on there. I didn't know which key it was. Okay. The man started yelling at me, telling me, Adios, you need to get the fuck back in the motherfucking store. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you need to take your fat ass back in the motherfucking store. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, seem like you don't even need to be motherfucking working here. I'm like, sir, I'm new. Don't talk to me like that while I'm trying to help assist you. I'm new. I don't know which key it is. I'm sorry, but I don't. Don't talk to me like that. You're not going to disrespect me and then expect me to help you. So I turned around 
while me and him was arguing, he pushed me and then punched me. Me? I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend myself. Man or woman, I'm going to defend myself. I've been with men for domestic violence. I've been through domestic. Once I learned how to fight for myself, I taught myself I would never let nobody else put their hand on me, period. I don't care what's going on. I taught myself to defend for myself. So as me, this man pushed me, I did punch him back. Yes, I did. Once I pushed him back, he pushed me on the ground beside the ice machine and started stomping me with his steel toe boots. Now, mind you, the key holder that was working there, the manager that was working there, the people that was there, everybody was outside the store, y'all, and they stood there and watched this man stomp me with his steel toe boots until he wouldn't stop. Until I can finally get him off of me. Look at my body. My legs. Look at my leg. My leg. My face is swollen. And I got to explain this to my child. But like I said, I defended myself because that's what I was taught to do. Not only that, the employees didn't help. Then nobody helped. They stood there because his name is Desmond Pollard. Yes, Desmond Pollard, Big Dez. Everybody scared of Big Dez, whoever he is. Yes, I know him because I'm from Kingston. He's from Kingston. That's the only way I know of him. I've never disrespected him. I've never had no problems with him. However, that's why they say they didn't step in it because it was Big Desmond. That's why, Big Desmond Pollard. Okay, the thing about it is, didn't nobody even stop to call the police. I had to call the police myself. After I called my mama, after I called my mama and them to come help me. Mind you, I have seizures. I don't supposed to be working, but I was trying because I had to provide for my child. But mind you, I don't supposed to work at all, but I was trying because I had to provide for my child. And this man stomped me to death over a bag of ice, and the employees stood there. They stood there, and now that I'm trying to get the police involved, don't nobody want to say nothing. Don't nobody want to say nothing about the management now. Don't nobody know who the manager is now. Don't nobody know who the key holder is on duty now. Don't nobody know nothing. They didn't even want to give them the tape. They didn't even want to let, watch, let the officer watch the tape. But mind you, though, that's not the kin part. That's not what hurts me. What hurts me is because I'm loyal. If you know me, I'm loyal. Anything I do, I take to pleasure. Anywhere I work, I take to pleasure. Do you hear me? That's what takes the pleasure. What takes the cake is it was a person in the store the day before. The day before. Stealing beer. Stealing beer. And I risked my life and went out there and got their stuff. I risked my life and went out there and defended Dollar General. Tiny Mo no. Tiny Mo no. Ask Tiny Mo. She was there. I defended that store and I ain't been there no more than three weeks. I defended y'all, but y'all can defend me. Y'all can defend me. Are you serious? Now don't nobody know nothing. Now, now don't nobody want to say nothing. Then that's the only thing y'all can say is because, oh, it was Desmond Paula. I don't care who it was. I would never sit and let no man beat on a woman. I would never sit and watch nothing like that happen and then act like I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. But I'm going to tell you something. I got laughed today because I had to get it off my chest. I had to get it off my chest because I haven't slept. I can't sleep. Close the door, baby. Mama fine, baby. I'm okay. Close the door, baby. Close the door. And see, that's why I came outside, because I knew my baby was going to wake up. She was going to ask me, am I okay? Because I've been breaking down in front of my child, y'all. Because I'm trying. I'm trying. And the way this story really did that, like y'all really sat there and watched that man fight me over a bag of ice when the lady threw the situation on me. The other manager threw it on me. You knew you had confrontation with him in the store. Why you didn't tell him to leave from the jump? Why you didn't stop the situation then before it even escalated? Instead of you throwing the keys in my hand out of here, you handle this. Why would you even do that? That shouldn't have even been done. But the thing about it is that none of y'all call the police. Then none of y'all say, hey, you okay? Then none of y'all do none of that. But y'all want to ask me, am I going to be able to come back to work? Am I going to be able to come back to work? Are you serious? Are you serious? But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to talk to somebody and I'm going to get justice. I'm going to file my police report because I don't want to handle it my way because I got a child to take care of. 
But I promise you that man now, baby, you did something to me, child. You brought a part out in me that has been gone for a while. Like I said, I've been through domestic violence, but I took care of that. I gained from that. I grew from that woman. But boy, you done brought a person out in me, and I swear to God, sir, I don't want to hurt you, sir. I really don't, so I want to let the law handle this. I swear to God, I do. I swear to God, I do, sir. But if I get close to you, sir, or close to your people, Lord, I want them to feel the hurt that I feel. And Dollar General, I just want y'all to know, baby. I just want you to know, Shakoya, Shakoya, Sabrina, Sabrina Diaz that works there. I just want all of y'all to know y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong, and y'all know y'all wrong. But like I said, it's fine because I can find another job. I have great credentials. I have no problem with finding another job. Like I said, I don't even supposed to be working at all. What if I would have had a seizure while that man was stomping me in my head? Huh? Then what? Then what? All y'all can say is, am I going to come to work? Huh? All y'all can say is, y'all don't know what's going on. Oh, y'all can't do nothing. Y'all could have did something. Y'all could at least call the police, but I had to call the police myself while I'm bleeding instead of wiping shit off of me. Instead of trying to get up. Instead of trying to defend myself, I'm calling the police for my motherfucking self while y'all just standing there. Are you serious? Who does that? <laughs> but if I would have let them people walk out y'all store the day before with y'all beer, though, I would have been fired because I wouldn't cooperate with y'all. But y'all could cooperate with me. So what is the duty? That's, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. What's the duty on the job that if something goes on in the store, what other customers in the management supposed to do, Dollar General? What were y'all supposed to do? What was somebody supposed to do? Somebody supposed to do something? But now all the managers calling my phone, all the keyholders calling my phone, oh, you okay, you okay? But then, not to mention, y'all sitting in the store gossiping and talking about it because when my auntie and my uncle walked in the store, they sat there and listened to y'all laugh at it in the, in the office for a whole 30 minutes. Y'all was sitting in the office discussing it for a whole 30 minutes and they heard everything y'all said about me. They heard everything y'all said about the situation like it's just funny. What if that was your child? What if that was somebody you was kin to? And y'all sitting in the office laughing and giggling. Shakaya, I wouldn't even think you was that type of person. Sabrina, but you so sitting up saying, Michelle, I got your back, I got your back, this and that and that. Baby, like I said, you can have it. You can have it, but I know one thing about it. Like I said, the job isn't a problem. And don't think I quit my job, sir, because of you. I didn't quit my job because of Desmond Paula. I didn't quit my job because of what you did for me. Because I defended myself. I don't fought men plenty of time. Like I said, I don't learn how to defend myself. So I didn't quit the job because of you. I quit the job because of Dollar General. That's why I quit the job. I quit the job because of Dollar General not handling their business as a corporate office. I quit, I quit the job because of Dollar General not handling their business as management. That's why I quit the job. Don't think you did it, sir. Because you didn't. Like I said, I'm going to let the law handle you. Because if I do, they're going to be bearing you, sir. And I mean that. But I have a child to take care of. I have a four-year-old child to take care of. And one thing about it, I got to do that. But if I didn't, baby, I promise you. I promise you, baby. I promise you, you wouldn't be laying there, sugar. You wouldn't be laying in that two-story house on your willow peacefully, peacefully, baby. I promise you, you wouldn't. And I promise you that. So like I said, I'm going to get off this lab because my child is said asking me if I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. But I'm going to continue to pray about it because like I said, I know I didn't do no wrong. One thing about me, when I'm wrong, I own up to my wrong. I will tell a person I'm wrong, baby, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I did you wrong. I'm sorry. I will own up to my right and my wrong. But for that man to sit there and do that like that, and for them people in Dollar General to handle that situation like they did, baby, y'all did something to me. Y'all did something to me. That lets me know what y'all did, though. That let me know that my business, my my business, my plus size boutique that I have in my name, my LLC, that lets me know that, that that's what I need to invest in. Because working for another person is not for me no more. I see now that that corporate stuff, that loyalty from a job and workers, that's not true, you guys. So I did this to say this. Be careful who you work for and make sure they have your back just like you have this. Because, baby, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Have a blessed day, y'all.